application layer, layer number seven of the OSI. We will learn about uh, the common network application, DNS, HTTP, HTML, okay? What are the most common internet services that you use on regular basis? Tell me. Okay. Service. Okay. Web browser, sir. Web browser. Okay. Video, social media, you are right. Audio streaming, YouTube, video, email. So one of the important services is domain name translation. Because you cannot remember, and if you want to go, let's say you want to visit Microsoft.com. Do you know their IP address? Because the micro, actually the computer only has to understand numbers. But when you type Microsoft.com, the DNS will translate Microsoft.com to the IP address of, the, of Microsoft. All right? That's why it is doing the domain name translation. Okay? <laughs> so DNS names are registered and organized on the internet within specific high-level groups or domains. Some of the most common high-level domains are .com, .edu, .net. Okay? So here the user sends the request the DNS will, DNS will find the IP address of that website. DNS servers contains table that as associate host name and domain with corresponding IP address. Microsoft.com, this is the IP address. HP.com, this is the IP address. When a client has the name of server, such as a web server, but needs to find the IP address, it sends a request to the DNS server. The port number for DNS is 53. Don't forget that, please. When the DNS server receives the request, it checks its table to determine the IP address, and then it sends it back. If the local DNS server does not have an entry, it will send query to another DNS, and then the same domain. It will ask another DNS. Okay. So they help each other. Another application is HTTP and HTML. When a web client receives the IP address of a web server, the client browser uses that IP address and port 80 to request a web service. This request is sent to the server using HTTP and request sent to secure HTTP, HTTPS, HTTPS, they are using port 443. Please remember these numbers, okay? 80, 443. So when the server receives a port 80 request, the server responds to the client request and sends the web page to the client. The, web, the information content of a web page is encoded using HTML. I think you are studying HTML in your uh, web design course? Yes. Yeah, so you design some websites, right? Yes. Using what? HTML? Yes. Any special software you are using? I started using uh, Adobe Adrena. Who's your teacher? Uh, ah, okay. Good. Another application is FTP. You know FTP is used for what? Transfer, transfer files, ex excellent. Download or transfer or upload files. Okay. Which port number is used? 21 is used for the control. The 20 is used for the data. You have to remember this. Okay. 21 for the control to start the to start the connection. 20 when you start sending the data, okay? Email client and client and servers. Email servers run server software that enables them 
to interact with clients and with other email servers. We have various applications for email, such as SMTP, POP3, IMAP4. Okay, the mailboxes for users, we use at to identify. Yani you can have user at company.domain.com, whatever. Okay. So let's see the difference between them. SMTP, it uses port 25 and it is used as an email client to send messages to the local email server, okay? The local server then decides if the message is distant to the local mailbox or is addressed to a mailbox in other server outside there. POP3, here this server supports POP clients. It receives and store messages addressed to its user, okay? When the client download the message, by default, messages are not kept on the server. They are deleted. Okay? Is it good or bad? Do you, and when you check your email and then you read the email, it's, it's deleted? No. The third one is IMAP4. Here, the server supports IMAP clients. It receives and stores messages, okay? And they are not deleted, unless you want to delete it, all right? Text messages also in another example. It enables users to communicate or chat over the internet in real time. Some people call it instant message or direct message, okay? It is now built into many applications, many devices, smartphones, your iPhone, I think, has, okay, social media. There are also a number of standalone text message clients, such as, please remember this, Cisco Web, WebEx, Teams, Microsoft Teams, WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, Okay, some of them even allow the transfer of documents. Also, internet phone calls. So here we call it internet telephony. It uses peer-to-peer -peer technology. Uh, protocols and destination ports used by the internet telephony application can vary. IP telephony makes use of the VoIP technology, which converts analog voice into digital data, and then send it on the IP network. So the voice is encapsulated into IP packets, which carry the phone call through the network. When the IP phone software has been installed, the user selects a unique name, okay? The unique name, and like your number, allows calls to be received from other users. Calls are made to other users of the same service by selecting the username from a list. Like when you call someone on your, uh, if you use Cisco IP, uh, IP telephony, you can choose the user. Okay. I think also there is uh, Skype for business, WhatsApp, but WhatsApp does not allow calls. Yeah, it does not allow calls, only messaging or voice messages. Okay. If you want to use it to call telephone, a local telephone line, you need a gateway. Okay. And it depends on your server, service provider. There might be some charges. Okay, that's it. Any questions on this chapter?